In the shadowy depths of the ocean, a strange intelligence stirs. It slips through the water like smoke, changing shape, color, even texture. For centuries, it has haunted shipwrecks, folklore, and the minds of scientists alike. Some say it's an alien, others a miracle of evolution. This is the octopus. A creature so bizarre, so otherworldly, it defies the rules we thought governed life itself. But beneath its shifting skin and alien gaze, what is really going on? Join us today as we delve into the mystery. It gets even weirder than you think. We will start by delving into the love life of this mysterious creature. This one is full of surprises. A female octopus is cruising her waters when she notices that somebody is approaching her. As their eyes catch on, it's a moment of suspense and tension. Our friends here cannot know what the other one wants until they actually touch hands. Slowly, they approach each other. The other guy gives out his hand and they make contact. It's an invitation to mate. Interactions such as these are dangerous for both parties as they never know how it may end. On some occasions, the male may be desperate and get aggressive and a fight may ensue. What will shock you even more is that even if they mate, sometimes the female kills and eats the male after mating. Protein is hard to come by and a hungry mother will apparently do anything for her children. But the males can be tricksters and they have evolved numerous different ways to avoid being eaten by their partners. Meet the blue-lined octopus. This guy is a kinky trickster. He sneaks up to the female, bites into her aorta and injects venom. This venom doesn't kill the female, but it immobilizes her and allows for the male to mate and disengage before she gets a chance to eat him. He who sups with the devil should have a long spoon. An old proverb that warns you to maintain your distance and be extremely cautious when interacting with dangerous individuals. Well, male octopus take this one very seriously. They have a special arm for mating called a hectocotylus arm that can deliver spermatophores to the female. This allows him to have a chance to escape in case the female decides to attack him. While this fella called the Argonaut practices contactless mating, the way he does this is he detaches his arm in front of the female and swims right over her. The female collects this and uses it later to fertilize her eggs. But even if the male escapes, tragedy still ensues. Octopuses are known as Samelparous species. They are programmed to reproduce only once. Males suffer a rapid decline in brain and body function after mating and eventually die. While the females spend all their energy to take care of the eggs and die shortly after hatching. In a previous video, we've discussed shape-shifting raccoons in Japanese mythology. Well, octopuses are the real-life shapeshifters. They can instantly change the color of their body faster than you can blink. This guy here 
manages to hide from the lionfish in plain sight. What's peculiar about octopuses is that they can change not only their color, but also their texture. You can see these fellas imitating both the texture and the colors of these rocky seabeds. They match their environment and are almost invisible to predators. This guy here is slowly leaving his hiding spot, but he's still cautious and keeps close to the rocks. The oceans are a dangerous waters and they need to be on watch 100% of the time. For octopuses, this isn't difficult. It seems second nature, as easy as breeding. Even if their disguise doesn't work and they get noticed, Sometimes they change into more aggressive colors and textures in order to scare off predators. And if that doesn't work, then there's always the option of the black ink. Octopuses seem to have all the tricks when it comes to evading predators, but they don't transform only to evade predators. They also change their appearance when attacking prey and also during mating. Have you noticed that they rarely swim and most often they can be seen crawling across the seafloor? There is a reason why. If cannibalism, shape-shifting and contactless dating wasn't enough for octopuses, the weirdness doesn't end there. They have not one, not two, but three hearts inside their bodies. Two of these hearts pump through the gills to pick up oxygen and the third heart pumps blood throughout the body. Well, this third heart actually stops beating when they start swimming. So for octopuses, swimming is really exhausting. And even though they are pretty fast swimmers, they usually save it for the special cases. They're more like royalty and take their time while moving around. What adds to this royal touch is that they actually have blue blood. The reason for this blue blood is a copper-based protein called hemocyanin, which is responsible for carrying oxygen within their blood. This copper-based protein is more efficient at transporting oxygen molecules in more cold or low oxygen environments, making it ideal for ocean life. Speaking of ocean life, for the bonus part of this video, we will delve into an underwater fiasco that has both amused reporters and annoyed scientists. In 2016, on the south coast of New South Wales, scientists made an unusual discovery. Welcome to Atlantis, an underwater city found within the Boudiri National Park and occupied by gloomy octopuses. Wait, let's stop here for a second. A city of octopus. Is this all real or a joke? Let's dive deep into this one and find out exactly what scientists are talking about and what they actually aren't. Scientists found a site where octopuses appear to coexist in unusually large numbers and build dens out of shells. The reason why this is deemed so unusual is because octopuses were so far known to be extremely solitary animals. The moment one hatches from its mother's egg, it leaves the nest and sets out on a solo adventure full of danger, surprise and the unknown. This is a rare case where unusually large numbers of octopus coexist and engage in complex behaviours such as producing displays, probing each other and evicting each other from dens. It is a dangerous place, just like any other city. Let's stop here for a second and discuss the term city. 
While scientists did name the place Atlantis, they actually never mentioned anything about cities. But the media was fast to catch on and exaggerate what scientists wrote. The discovery was put out of context and exaggerated to a point where people were writing that octopus were building art and fences in a hidden underwater city. Scientists were annoyed and they responded. Atlantis is not a city and no artworks, fences or buildings have been made. In an era of rapid and unconstrained circulation of information around the internet, often with important political ramifications, the buzz around Atlantis is a reminder of how quickly rumors can arise and feed off each other, generating a literature that becomes less and less accurate at each step. So, while this site shouldn't be considered an actual city, it is a rare and unusual find that challenges how scientists view this idiosyncratic creature. Atlantis is so far one of the few cases that has been opening new doors of perception for scientists. And it shows that there is so much more yet to be explored about this odd and peculiar creature. The octopus is and will remain a mysterious, otherworldly presence that will continue to fascinate and baffle us, a true wonder of nature. Which octopus fact surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the Critter Pals YouTube channel. We put out videos every other week, and as always, thank you for watching.